Hello, uh, aerobatics fans. Strap on your seat belts. Tuck it up good because we're going a wild ride now. Uh, buzzing the village in the Ardennes map. And uh, this is really a series of about eight minutes worth of outtakes from several different sessions I've had. Uh, so I'm narrating this video over the original. And I'm coming in. Uh, um, one of the two entries into the town, I think this is the east-west road, and then there's a north-south entry that runs perpendicular to this. And basically the idea is to stay low below the rooftops most of the time and snake between buildings and trees and other objects, meanwhile doing any of the standard aerobatic maneuvers that you've learned to do in the basic lessons. Boops, rolls, Immelmans, uh, split S's, the whole nine yards. And in the rolls, you can do both slow rolls and point rolls, depending on how much space you have. Or a combination. You might start out as a point roll, and you may turn it into a barrel roll, or vice versa, depending on your spacing. You can uh, fly this village at different speeds. The faster you go, the harder it is to make the turns, of course, and the uh, jumpier things are. If you fly a little slower, the video will be smooth, and you'll have more time to make graceful transitions. I'm pushing the edge here. And, uh, the speed is going to vary from 150 knots down to stall speed. We just made a jump there to a new clip, new altitude. I guess I should have a warning for this video if you uh, are prone to motion sickness. Of course, if you were, you probably wouldn't be a Storm Raiders pilot, but uh, if you're prone to motion sickness, uh, this can get you a little queasy because there's a lot of turning and twisting and a lot of upside down stuff. So, people that get disoriented easily uh, find this a bit challenging <coughs> to watch for an extended period. Second nature to me. And notice that I'm using some rudder kicks there to keep the plane centered. Uh, you can bank to achieve that effect, but when you're in a narrow, tight fit like that, it's better to use the rudder. You should keep the wings level while you uh, adjust the nose position, get it centered for you in a gap. Sometimes making a turn, you need a little extra rudder just to speed the turn up, steepen it up, and make a tight 90 degree turn. you get this going with a couple friends, other pilots and storm raiders, uh, they can either try to follow you or they can just snake through the streets on their own uh, progression and you'll cross paths with them from time to time. Another thing you can do is pull up over the roof like this and then come back down between two uh, different houses and jump into a new clip here. And that just spices things up. So you get tired of going ground level, go up over the roofs and go inverted and then pull back down, kind of a corkscrew maneuver, or you can do a split S, whatever suits your fancy. Yep. Ooh, a little offline there. can fly under that awning if you like. I've done it. We're at the outer edge of the village now. We're re-entering the heart of it. The steeple is a nice reference point to keep oriented. And there's a lot of complexity to this village if you want to fly at all. There are these inner arcic, uh, what do you call them, uh, inner uh, areas uh, that are very tight, got multiple buildings side by side, and you can snake right there, snake through them, and so on. We're going to come in again down the main street, come in pretty high speed here, and then you got to kind of slow things up a little bit to make the transitions. You can, you can, um, Fly through the branches of trees. If you hit the trunk, you'll crash. So that's just a heads up.